I'm Sam. I'm the holistic bitch and the founder of the Adventure Well Lifestyle and Adventure Well Consulting. I want to talk just briefly about hangovers today. It's the middle of December. Lots of Christmas parties are happening. Um, lots of drinking is happening. Lots of festivities. Happy Merry Christmas on a Kwanzaa. Anyways, a couple things you can do to avoid hangovers. A couple things you can do if you do have a hangover. Um, first thing, a lot of times people will say, oh, just drink a big thing of water and an Advil before you go to bed. Is that gonna help with a headache? Yes, absolutely. Um, the challenging side is that it does deplete a lot of antioxidants that you need for healing. It's also gonna have a pretty negative effect on the digestive tract, which you've already wreaked havoc on if you're gonna be hungover in the first place. So if you do take an Advil before bed, you can get a supplement of glutathione, a um, couple hundred milligrams of that, take it. It will help to offset some of the damage that it's gonna do if you wanna go a more conventional route. Obviously simple things are staying really hydrated, not drinking on an empty stomach, making sure that you do have a good substantial meal. Um, and then the next day, being hydrated, and then obviously treating your symptoms is gonna be a little bit different just based on what you have going on. If it was a kind of hangover where a lot of vomiting or diarrhea was involved, looking to things like the traditional Vietnamese soup pho or bone broth is really good to kind of help soothe what's going on, replace electrolytes, heal the digestive tract. Um, you can also take things like raw honey. There's enzymes in there that are gonna help your body to recover. Milk thistle, which is gonna help the liver to recover. You can take milk thistle the night before as well. A couple droppers of that if you do the tincture. I uh, typically recommend the tincture where milk thistle is the best way to get all of the viable constituents from that plant. It's not super good tasting. It's very, very bitter as are almost all plants that are good for the liver and the gallbladder. So you can do that guy beforehand or you can do it the next day if you don't think about it. Um, uh, you can do topical things as well. There are a couple different companies like doTERRA that make roll-on peppermint rubs that you can do that will help to take down that swelling that happens kind of around the brain stem and if you put it on the temples and at the nape of your neck it can help to, to decrease the headaches that are going on. As far as stomach stuff goes, peppermint essential oil internally is really really good. Use it in small doses to make sure that you have a really good form or you can just do peppermint tea. Um, American Health makes a papaya enzyme and the papaya enzymes are really really soothing that's an op a really really good option for stomach stuff as well there's one other notable kind of pre-party thing it's by a company called Himalaya and it's called party smarts and each cap is like a dollar 29 so they're kind of expensive because you're only purchasing one capsule for a dollar 29 however you take it before you drink, and for a lot of people, it just depends on your body, some people it works really good for. I personally don't have luck with it, but I've sold it from different companies like Whole Foods and Natural Grocers to hundreds of people, and people really, really love it, and it seems to do well for them. So you can try that one out. You wanna take it right before bed or just sometime in the middle of your evening of drinking. It'll help to help the liver recover, um, help for everything that the alcohol is gonna deplete, help to balance your blood sugar, things like that. So those are kind of some important things. Um, other very logical things, don't drink too much. You won't be hungover, crazy, crazy. Um, obviously drinking a bunch of different things is not indicated. Um, I wouldn't like have a beer and then have a snake bite and then have an old fashioned and then have a shot of tequila. Stick with one alcohol. The less amount of sugar that's in there, the better. You'll do a lot better without a ton of sugar in there. That way you can still have fun, uh, hang out and fraternize and bond with the people that you want to without waking up the next day feeling super, super, super burnt. Um, other than that, I would recommend a sole. If you don't know how to make sole, I'll teach you. It's very, very simple. It's basically just a, um, a salt solution. We use Himalayan pink sea salt because it has 85 trace minerals, 84 trace minerals. You can either make it, purchase it from the store, or my company also makes one. Um, there'll be a link to that below. Those are the big ones. So party hard and then recover harder.